My name is Bradney Chambers, and I'm the Executive Secretary of the Convention on Migratory Species. It's hard to believe that the last conference of the parties in Quito took place over two years ago, and that means that the next conference is just now months away. The International Wildlife Conservation Community will be gathering in Manila at the CMS COP12. Really, this is the most foremost international wildlife conference in the environmental calendar. At the CMS COPs, decisions are made that set policy and agree on actions that governments must take to ensure the survival of endangered species. It's also a conference that very much contributes to the SDGs through contributing to a healthy planet, providing food, shelter and livelihoods for people, and guaranteeing a place for wildlife. Species are declining at an alarming rate, and the principal reasons are connected to human activities. We're converting natural habitats to agricultural land. We're felling forests for their timber at unsustainable rates. We're using the oceans as, as rubbish dumps. We're overfishing the seas, and we're poisoning the environment with industrial emissions, fertilizers, and pharmaceuticals and putting obstacles in the way of migratory animals in the form of pipelines, wind turbines, roads and railways. But we depend on wildlife for so many things that we take for granted. Food, pollination, medicine, pest control and tourism. These are services that we can put a price tag on and they're worth billions of dollars a year. What we can't put a price tag on is a cultural and aesthetic value. In choosing the theme for COP12, we wanted to highlight the importance of reconciling the needs of the planet, people and animals. The fates of people and animals sharing this planet are interconnected. Stopping the wildlife from going extinct is essential for human well-being. Their future is our future. See you in Manila.